Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Pearl and I love beauty products. I love collecting them. I love wearing them. I just love makeup. I am 48 years old. I have oily to combo skin, mostly oily, with a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. So if you're interested in my favorites for 2019, then please keep on watching. I will go ahead and do a separate video for my drugstore favorites um, following this one. So if you're interested in that, then look for that video as well. So let's start off with primers. I have three here. Um, I really did try to narrow it down, but the first one is this Becca Anti-Fatigue um, Under Eye Primer. It looks like this. There we go. And when you open it, it's just blue like this. And the reason I love this so much is because I put this on before I put on concealer and it helps so that when I do put concealer and powder on, it doesn't get all cakey and go into my fine lines. So I like this one. Secondly, I like this Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and it looks like this inside. It looks like putty and I use this to fill in my pores. And then it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This really helps my foundation stay put and wear all day. Because I'm so oily, um, I notice that my makeup breaks up and then you can see like the cracks here and in my laugh lines and all my wrinkles, but this really helps minimize that. So those are my primers. I have two favorite foundations that I found this year. First is a surprise. It's the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. I didn't think I'd like this because it has the word glow in there, but it I really, really like it. It looks very skin-like. I do have to put a lot of concealer on to hide my hyperpigmentation, but I have to do that anyway. And I wear mine in 45 medium, the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. The other is, um, I found this because of the Allure Awards um, for the end of this year and it came up as the most innovative and it's my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Coverage Foundation. It looks like this inside. It comes with a makeup sponge like that and it's it goes from this to a powder and it really, really helps hide my hyperpigmentation and it is full coverage. So if you have hyperpigmentation like me, then this would be a good one. Concealers, I have two here, but I wanted to mention this Giorgio Armani color corrector. This one here, this really does help if I put this on my hyperpigmentation before I put on my um, concealer, it does help color correct it. But my favorite is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. This is awesome underneath my eyes. It's thin and, and it doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles, so I love this. But to cover my hyperpigmentation, I have been using and loving the Stay Naked Concealers. I use 50NN and 40NN, depending on where I'm gonna use it. Now this is a full coverage concealer, so it really does help mask my hyperpigmentation. You can't really see it right now, but that's because of this coverage and also I put highlighter all the way through my cheekbones and onto the apples of my cheeks to hide and deflect from the hyperpigmentation. As for powders, I've got two here that I really like. First is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I have mine in the number two. This is perfect for hiding the pores and um, smoothing out under my eyes. So this is my favorite. But second is the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Pound Cake. Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I use this um, over my concealer to hide my hyperpigmentation and it does help my makeup stay all day. So I use that all over my face. As for eyebrows, mine continues to be the Hourglass Arch in Warm Brunette. This is my favorite. I'm still finishing up this one that has the um, triangle end, but I also bought the one with the micro, micro tip. 
So I'm gonna use that next. I don't have a favorite eyebrow gel. So if you have any recommendations for me, because my eyebrows stick straight down and it's really hard for me to find something to keep them up and in place. So if you have any recommendations for me, go ahead and list them down below. Okay, eyeshadow palettes. I love eyeshadow palettes. So this was really hard for me to decide which ones to pick. So I picked my two favorites from this year. First one is the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. This is what the outside looks like. Here's this one. I've used this so much since it's come out and it's probably mostly for these greens, but I really, really do like this palette. And the good thing about this is um, it's only $25. So that's one of my favorites, Natasha Denona, and her formula is always really good. Now the second favorite is, it's gonna be no surprise if you've watched some of my latest uh, videos, it's the Pat McGrath Mothership 7 Divine Rose. This is what the palette looks like inside. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. And I like it a lot because I can wear this every day because it's um, very neutral on my skin tone. So that's my second favorite. And of course, Pat McGrath, you can't go wrong with Pat McGrath. So if you have the money to spare and need a nice rose neutral palette, Go for that one. As for single eyeshadows, I have two here. First is the Kaja Beauty. Kaja in Korean means let's go. So it's beauty on the go. And this one here, I have an orange blossom. And what I like about it is these little eyeshadows you just use with your finger and it just gives the nice sheen to the eyes. It's perfect. I've got several of these and I love it, and especially for the price point. I think it's 20 or $22. So that's good if you wanna just jazz up an eye look. Are these Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize? I have them in four different colors, but I'm gonna show you which one is my favorite. My favorite is Marie Antoinette. This is a one and done. I use this with a synthetic brush, and I just put it all over my lid and blend it out, and I'm done. That and mascara, and I could be done with my eyes. Well, no, that's not true. I have to put on my eyebrows because I only have half eyebrows. But these are amazing. I wish I had gotten the Verushka, the green one, but those are discontinued. Should have bought them when I had the chance. As for eyelashes, I love the Surat Beauty Eyelash Curler. Now, I used the Shiseido one until I purchased this one during one of the Sephora VIB sales and this captures every single eyelash. I don't know if it's because I have a flat face and so this captures more and it's not as curved, if you can see that, but it captures every eyelash and I love this, love. I'm so glad I tried it. As for mascara, I only have one and it's the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This makes me look like I have, no, it doesn't make it look like I have falsies, but it lengthens, thickens, and this is the brush. It's just the best mascara I've ever found. I don't like the price point because it's kind of high, but it's so worth it for me. As for blush, um, the blush that I love the most took the beauty community by storm. It's the Cover FX. Now my favorite, ha I have Warm Honey and Soft Peach, but my favorite is Soft Peach. This is gorgeous. The peach color also helps with my hyperpigmentation, but it has a matte finish and a shimmer finish, but I like to use them both and put them on my cheeks. So, so good. And I purchased a lot of blush this year. As for bronzer, I'm going with last year's favorite, which is the Jouer bronzer, and I have mine in the color light to medium. I still, I, I bought so many bronzers this year, but this still happens to be my favorite. It goes on smooth, it's not patchy, it's easy to blend. I do love it. I love their brush, blushes too, but the Cover X FX trumped it this year. As for highlighter, hmm, my favorite this year is the Hourglass Champagne Flash. And this is what the stick looks like. I just use a makeup sponge and I put it onto the high points of my cheek. Even over powder, it looks great. And I need, I like, I like a highlighter that's more natural looking, but because of the hyperpigmentation, if I have more emphasis on the highlight, it reflects 
the viewer away from the hyperpigmentation, if you can tell right there. If you look really hard, you can see my hyperpigmentation there. But see how that highlighter works? Yep, but this one is my favorite, the Hourglass. It's not too blinding, but it's not just subtle. It's in the middle somewhere. As for lip liner, I don't have a new favorite. I mean, I still like the Charlotte Tilbury and Pat McGrath but I didn't find anything really new or anything that stuck out for me, so I'm just gonna pass on that. But as for lipsticks, I'm not really a lipstick person, but I did find that I love the formulation of the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. And this one is in the color Jennifer. It's what I have on right now, and it's perfect for me. It's my perfect nude. It doesn't make me look gray, it's not too dark, it's like my lips, but better. As for lip gloss, I have two that I love. First is all the Pat McGrath glosses. I have about six of them, but my favorite is, I don't know if you can see, it's almost empty. <laughs> this one is in the color Bronze Venus, and the reason I like it is if you look here, you can see little specks of glitter. And so I like that, but it's, it's a nude for me as well. But my other favorite is, and this is limited edition, so if you see this and you're interested, go out and get it. It's Fenty Beauty. I love her lip glosses. I have all of her current ones, um, but this is the limited edition that came out for this holiday, and I love every single one of these. The formula is good, it's nourishing, it doesn't get all goopy with those lines in between your lips. Oh. Yeah, so Fenty Beauty is awesome for lip gloss. And these miniature sizes, they're great for just putting in your purse or in your back pocket. Just wonderful. Go out and get them before they're no longer available. And lastly, um, for my face spray, I love the Watermelon Glow Recipe. It's an ultra fine mist. It comes separated like this, so you always need to shake it first. But look at this mist. Oh. It's amazing. I love this to help settle the powder into my face. The glow recipe. Of course, there's always the all-nighter spray from Urban Decay that is always a staple in my house or on my beauty desk. But that's it for my favorites for 2019. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.